for question 13. If you are just after the solution, you can pause the video, have a look at it and work out what you want to understand. If you want to hear the explanation, stay tuned because here we go. For part one, we need to find the first three terms in the expansion of two minus x to the power of six ascending powers of x. So to do that, we're going to use the binomial expansion and we will get two to the power of six plus six C one multiplied by 2 to the power of 5, uh, multiplied by negative x, that negative sign stays with the x, uh, to the power of 1, plus 6 e2 times 2 to the power of 4 times negative x squared, and it would continue, but all we need to do is find those first three terms. All right, 2 to the power of 6 is 64, so we write that. 6 c1 is just 6, and 2 to the 5 is 32. 6 times 32 is 192. Don't forget there's a minus sign there, so it's negative 192x plus 62 is 15 multiplied by 2 to the 4 is 15 times 16, which is positive because we're squaring negative x and that makes a positive x squared and we have 240x squared. Uh, we finished part one. For part two, uh, we're told that in this other expansion, where we have a 1 plus kx multiplying by what we just did, uh, the x squared term doesn't exist. And for it not to exist, uh, it just means the coefficient is zero. So let's find out what creates the x squared term when we are multiplying 1 plus kx by the expansion that we have. All right, the only things that we are uh, interested in looking at here is what produces x squared. So we have 1 times the 240x squared and we'll have kx times the negative 192x and that will produce x squared terms. So let's write that down. 240x squared minus 192kx squared. Let's factorize x squared out. 240 minus 192k. For this to be 0, 240 minus 192k is 0, which means k is 240 divided by 192 and if you put it in a calculator, you'll get K is 1.25. You're finished.